everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some project shares for KS Craft. This is part three of my videos for, for their April release. Uh, I will link videos one and two down below in the description box in case you missed them. But uh, I am going to finish uh, up this release with today's video and show you some projects I made. So I'll show you the dies that I used. I'll show you my projects, do some measurements. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And uh, yeah, so everything will be linked for their Alley store, but you could always look on Amazon uh, at their Amazon store as well for these products. All right, so the first item we have is the Tear Tray Garden Add-on. And I had shown some flowers from this in my last video, but I made the Tear Tray this time. And the, the base Tear Tray set is actually um, the Easter one that they released at Easter time. So I'll link that one down below as well. The add-on set, you get all of these things to go on to the tier tray that comes in the Easter set. So this add-on comes with all these different flower dyes, leaves, um, different kinds of leaves, and then it comes with these cute garden accessories like this miniature wheelbarrow, um, a spade, a, a watering can that has a layering piece for the spout, a little fork, uh, various garden tools, layering pieces, there's a wheel for the wheelbarrow, and there's an axe too, a handle. So, you know, lots of different fun ways you could dress up your tiered tray. If you don't want to use it in a tear tray, you don't have to. You can use these little garden accessories, you know, as embellishments on other projects. So don't feel like you have to use it on the tear tray either. So let me show you what I made. Uh, I made a card uh, featuring all the garden elements. And this is how it came out. The papers that I used are the new Woodland Grove from Maggie Holmes. So I just thought that would be perfect for this. Hi, Gus. Did you hear Gus? Um, be perfect for this this uh, theme of uh, garden tear tray. So the tray itself and the grass parts are from the original set, and all the other pieces. Well, the charcuterie board is also from the original set, but the other, but all the other things are from this garden add-on. So uh, the stamp that I used for her low is actually from Woodland Grove as well. I'll just show that to you. I used um, that hello and I used your sunshine in the middle or on the inside and I'll show you that in a sec. So I made a bunch of different flowers and just glued them on the flowers from the die set. Uh, the watering can I layered with a little uh, gold layering piece. Same with the wheelbarrow. I used gold for the layering pieces and I added a little diamond dot for the you know like the top of the wheel. And on the uh, spade here, up there, I added a diamond dot too. Uh, the leaves, these leaves I did in like a different shade of green than I did the, the grass. And I think it's adorable. Let me measure this for you. Um, if you have the tiered tray, when it's all um, put together, it's about four and an eighth inches long and about two and a half inches wide. I'll measure, let's see, like the wheelbarrow itself is about one and five eighths inches long. And let's see, at the highest part, it's about five eighths inches high. So, you know, these pieces are really cute, like I said, to use in different things or to stick into this tear tray like they were meant for. I just love this little watering can. I think it's so adorable. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. I used, um, like I said, the Woodland Grove paper for this and for the background, I used some uh, gold foil paper I had from Sizzix, I believe, for the gold accents. And actually this little banner I put there because um, I made a mistake. I was gluing this this piece onto the card base. And I'm not sure what happened, but I messed up the purple paper behind it. So I had to cover it up. So I just made this little banner. I did a, um, a heat embossed leaf there, and that is from the stamp set as well. And then just kind of made my own banner. And I think it looks okay, right? It doesn't necessarily look like you were covering something up unless you knew about that. So yeah, that's my card. And on the inside, like I said, I stamped You Are My You Are Sunshine. And I did have some buckling here and I tried to flatten it out overnight and it didn't work. So I'm not sure I'm gonna have to try and uh, you know straighten it out again. But I do like that stamp. I think it's really pretty. And this is a penny black die set for the um, for the inset part there. And then also I use that for this 
this piece of paper as well. So I uh, hope you like it. It was really fun to put together. I love all the different patterns and oh, Maggie Holmes just makes the prettiest papers, I think. So that's my first project. Okay, the next one, I actually made two and I used the Beehive Mini Album die set and that comes with all of these different dies. Um, I actually made cards instead of mini albums and I'll show you that in a second, but I did use all of the pieces pretty much, I think. This is the, the piece obviously for the base of your pages for the mini album and you would, since this cuts out holes, you could put like binder rings here to hold your mini album together. And then it comes with layering pieces, um, a, a straight one. This one is a stitched edge that you um, layer on top of that one. And then it comes with this piece that is really neat that cuts out different sections of the beehive and each individual piece is stitched. These all pop out when they, when they, um, when they cut through your die cutting machine. And then it comes with slits if you want to use those. Perfect for a mini album. Since I make cards, I didn't use those, but you could add those in in between and it'll cut out a slit so you could stick in embellishments and stuff. Here's the uh, oval and this goes, you will put it like down here. It looks like the, you know, the opening of the beehive. And then it comes with all these bee pieces as well. So it comes with uh, two each of the small and the big ones. And it comes with like three layers of each, the body, the, the, the layer that goes on top of the body that has like spaces cut out for the stripes and then wings to go on top of these wings as well. So like I said, there's two of each, two big and two small. So you don't have to, you know, uh, cut out too many or run this through too many times because it does, you know, cut out a bunch at once. So I use that. And I also want to show you what else I use for this one. I use the Happy Bee Happy Bee Day stamps and dies. So the Happy Bee Day stamps and die set comes with these stamps and these dies. So the dies cut out a honey pot. You can either combine these or not. Actually, I just used this part of it. It comes with this die that cuts out a layer to put on top of the pot. And then it comes with this like honey dripping layer as well. This one has a um, like a lid on it and also a layering piece to go on that. But I did cut it out, but I didn't use it for this one. And then for the stamps, let me just get out a piece of white paper so you can see them. It does come with, if you wanna uh, stamp out those, those pieces, the uh, ring and the honey, you can do that. And then it comes with all these sentiments, just because you're as sweet as honey, honey, just be you, honey bee, be mine, honey bunch, happy bee day, which is one I used. Be yourself with little hearts above the letters. Be strong, you're beautiful. Queen bee with the crown and be happy. So all these fit nicely on the little honey pot set. But um, yeah, let me show you what I made. I made two cards. So um, this is the first one. And isn't that cute? The paper collection I used is the new uh, Echo Park, Echo Park, right? Be happy. And what I and when I cut out the papers, um, I cut out the this one, this die out of this yellow paper with the hearts and the B paper. So when I cut those out, I had pieces left over. So that's why I made another card, and I'll show you that one in a second. So anyway, I um, layered all the pieces together, and it looks so nice because you can you know layer it with different colors and ties it all together. Love the stitch detail. These are the bees that I made with the die set. So I put two of the big ones on this on this card and one of the smaller ones, and I put some uh, pretty gold enamel dots on there as well. Here's that Happy Bee Day stamp and die. Uh, I just love this little die set. I stamped Happy Bee Day with um, uh, embossing ink and then used some gold embossing powder and heat embossed it. So this is obviously a birthday card. And then I used different colors for the honey, just like a, you know, a honey color solid paper and then black for the ring around it. And um, I popped that up on a little bit of foam tape just so, you know, it would be dimensional and uh, kind of the focus of the card. And yeah, I used some um, light blue uh, AC card stock for the card base. And the way I made this base was um, I took this piece here and what I did was I took a piece of this whoops, of this light blue paper and folded it in half. It was a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And then I lined the fold up right underneath 
these circles. So it wouldn't cut this edge, but it also wouldn't put circles in it. So when I folded it and put this over the paper, I did it like this. So then when it came out of my die cutting machine, all of this was cut out, including, well, not including that part. So it was folded on this part here and not cut. So it just turned into a card. So that was an easy way to make a card. And that's the inside. I used another one of the stitch layering pieces. Sweet as Honey comes from the stamp set from the Be Happy paper collection. So I got that as well as the paper. And then I just uh, put a little ribbon bow on there, a black one just to you know coordinate with the black and the gold and the light blue. So the other one I made looks very similar. I used some, some gold paper for the card base. And as you could see, the different layers of the beehive or the different stripes of the beehive alternate. So I did this, I made the same little honey pot and um, just, you know, a couple little different color combinations of the bees, but the same, you know, the same colors just combined in different ways. So I do actually have a lot of birthdays of family members in May. That's why I thought it'd be perfect to make some birthday cards. The inside of this one looks very much the same as the blue one, just in gold. So I think these came out so cute. Let me measure this for you. If you make this into a card like I did, it comes out to be um, about five and a quarter inches from top to bottom and a little over four and a half, about four and five eighths from side to side. The little honey pot itself is, let's see, one and three eighths inches across, and then top to bottom, it's about one and a quarter. So just a really cute set to have. This I love this little stamp set and the, and the die set, and it did stamp really nicely, as you can see. The little bees, this is the bigger one, and this one is about seven eighths inches from top to bottom, and then about one and a quarter inches from side to side. The smaller one is about uh, three quarters of an inch top to bottom, and side to side, it's uh, oh, yeah, about an inch. So really cute, right? I hope you like these too. I just, I love this paper collection that I've been using a lot if you've been watching my videos. It's just perfect for all of these bee themed uh, dies and stamps that are coming out from KS Craft. So that's why I got the collection and it's really been working out nicely. Okay, so let me show you my last project and that is using this die set and this one is called the Clipboard with Scallop Layer. So this comes with all of these pieces. It comes with the smaller set and the larger set. And um, so it comes with the base of the clipboard and then a layering piece to go on top of that. And then these are stitched pieces of like, they're made to look like paper to put on top of your clipboard. And then it comes with two little like top clips. You can either have one with the heart or just a plain one and then a pencil with the layering pieces as well. So that's a small set and that's a big set. And I did make up um, a few of each to show you. So let me get those out. I did make some bee themed ones. Here's one of them. How cute is that, right? What a nice little embellishment. This is a larger one and this one measures about two and seven eighths inches top to bottom and about two and a quarter inches from side to side. So um, yeah, I used, this is a sticker from the, from the Be Happy collection as well as that paper. And then I used some white paper and um, that AC cardstock, the honey gold color again. Um, I did all the layering pieces for the pencil and I think that came out adorable. I mean, what little detail, right? With like all the different layering pieces and it's, you know, just one, two, three, four, five pieces. Um, you know, it takes a little bit of time, but I think it's really worth it because it looks so cute. And then I put another one of the small bees from the set I was just showing you before on top of that. I layered this with a piece of gold on the back just because, well, I thought I was going to offset it a, a little bit, but I didn't really like how that works. So I just glued it on the back. I'd already cut it out. So it makes it nice and sturdy. Um, you know, you don't really need to put something like a, a pretty paper on the back, but I figured since I had it cut out, I would do that. So that's one of the big ones. And here's another one. 
think this one's adorable too, again with those bees. This is a sticker from Be Happy and some of the different papers. This I used a, a blue shimmer paper and this is from Michaels from that like smallish paper pad that has the pretty shimmers. And then for the um, for the clip on the top, I used the Sizzix Gold. Same thing for the, for the heart one and the bees and the pencil. So they all go together. And yeah, so those are the big ones. And then here's a little one. How cute, right? This one, I, I used stickers again from that same collection, and I did add some yellow Nouveau drops all through the li little gingham parts just to add a little texture and some whimsy and to kind of go back to the polka dots on that second layer there. So the smaller one measures uh, two, about two and an eighth by one and five eighths. So really, really cute, right? I love this little clip and you, it has like a little score line there so you could just bend it up to make it look like it's really clipped down onto the paper. And then here's another small one I did. This one I, I made the, um, the smaller pencil and this one I used that same like honey gold paper to make it look like a, a real number two pencil. And uh, more stickers. They went together so quickly because I used stickers for the embellishments. And I think these would look really cute, you know, as a, um, a gift to a crafty friend if you put them in a little bag and then put a uh, bag topper on top and then they can add them to cards or mini albums or whatever. And then I made a couple of the larger ones in not a bee theme. Let me show you what I did. Um, this I used um, a little book of like vintage images. I'd gotten this from Allie a long time ago and it's got like all these little like vintage images of like Easter things and Christmas and just like general kind of cute little images, like vintage looking images. And they, they're like the perfect size for the big one. So what I did was um, I took a brad and well, first I poked holes through a bunch of the little images. And then I took a brad and poked those through the images and the the, um, the scallop part and then you know opened up the brad and then I glued this like clip part on top of the brad so this can be removed and then all of these little images can be taken out too. So I thought that was a fun way to you know like gift a bunch of these little images to somebody. They will have a hole in the top but it's a small hole. I used a really small hole punch. And the paper in the background I used some Arala Miha shop paper just because it's nice and vintagey looking. So that's one I made and then I made this one as well with the different clip on the top but I did it the same way. Put a brad so you could see it right there right. I put a brad through there and let's see if I open this up. It, I'm not sure if that glue is dry yet but let me see. So I'm just going to take this off and show you what it looks like. Um, yeah I, I don't really I don't really want to pull it out now but you could see if you pull this whole thing off then you can use the little images that um, I included. So I thought that was just a fun way you know to to gift some um, little vintagey images. So that is it for my project share today. I hope you like everything. I had so much fun making these. Um, I made these in most everything I made in a couple hours this morning, except for this, I made this yesterday. So they don't take too long at all. I just had a great time doing it. And I hope it, that I inspire you to make these as well. And if you have any questions, please let me know. They'll all be linked down below. And I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Thank you so much, Hannah, for sending me these dies and stamps. I had fun as usual working with them. All right, everybody, I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful day and take care. Bye. <music>